Well, hey there, church family. This is Pastor Jay with the weekly update. Today is November 2nd, and uh, we have made it into November, but I, I want to go back just a couple of days uh, to October 31st, an opportunity that we had to do our block parties here in the uh, Hurston, Bedford area. Uh, I thought they were done very, very well by our church members, and so those of you that participated, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Uh, I think there were lots of opportunity to have conversation, lots of opportunity to do ministry, lots of opportunity to tell people, hey, we're from Shady Oaks Baptist Church and you should come check us out. And so uh, we need to continue to pray for those conversations to continue to germinate and hopefully people will show up and come back to Shady Oaks Baptist Church or, or come to Shady, Shady Oaks for the first time. But again, these are great opportunities that we, we, get, we, sh we shouldn't just take lightly. And so uh, I thought they were done very well and I look forward to doing more things like that in the future. But guys, we have arrived to November, and so let's talk about what's going on over the next couple of weeks here. Uh, first, coming up this Sunday is Daylight Savings Time, so make sure you make that adjustment to your clock. Uh, but then more importantly, when we show up to church on Sunday, we're going to get a chance to do the Lord's Supper together. And guys, this is a great communal aspect for us to come together and be together with God's family, uh, remembering the broken body and the shed blood of Christ and how that means to us. And we're going to be tying that in with the message and making it more than just this extra add-on to the service. And so I hope you're wanting to come and be a part of that this Sunday. And uh, we'll see what the Lord does in and through us in that process. Uh, next Tuesday, uh, on the 9th of uh, November, we're going to be having uh, an, a thing called Surviving the Holidays. This is part of Grief Share Ministry. And the idea of Grief Share is to help those who have lost loved ones. And surviving the holidays is the focus of this one. How can you uh, not just go through the holidays but, and, and be sad and be uh, struggling through those things, but how can you win even in, the law, in, in experiencing loss? And how can you have some, some things you can do that will help you not just struggle through these holidays, but have a great time and do more than survive? And so it's going to be happening Tuesday night at 630. I hope you can come and be a part of that. You can go to their church website to check out and find more information about it. But we hope there's a good crowd there because I know that lots of you have lost loved ones in the last year or last couple of years. And I think this is an opportunity for us to do some things that could possibly help us get better as we move forward in that. Guys, as we move beyond and get into the next week even further, we're going to have our Operation Christmas Child Packing Day. Guys, this is a, a huge event that we need help in. We have four different shifts that we're going to be doing. The first shift starts at 9, the second one's at 10.30, then we have one, and we have one at 2.30. Each of those shifts needs a minimum of 20 people to be a part of that to really make the process of filling these boxes work. And so you need to go to the church website and sign up to be a part of one of those time slots because lots of boxes are going to be packed and we need your help. And so we hope that you can do that. So make sure that you go by our church website and get that going. Uh, lastly, guys, I just want to put this out there. Another thing that's going to be happening in December is our Night of Hope, an opportunity for us to have uh, give out Christmas gifts and love and care for uh, the Shady Oaks Elementary School families. And so this is going to be coming up on November, uh, December 8th, and I hope that you're um, getting ready to, to participate in that as well. You can go to our church website, and it'll take you to the Night of Hope website, but it'll, you can click on that to sign up, and you can get registered. Because obviously, if you register on time, you get the shirt that they're going to give out this year, and so that's an important thing, right? We want to get the free T-shirt. But uh, we want you to come and serve and be a part of that. And so uh, check out that on the church website as well. Guys, there's lots of information we try to give you so you can stay informed and be in the know of what's going on. And I hope that you're checking out our website on a regular basis. I hope you're taking a look at the worship guide when it comes out because it has vital information for all of us to know. And so please stay informed, but also have a great, great day. I hope to see you on Sunday. I hope to share the Lord's Supper with you. Uh, if you aren't able to make it, we'll see you next time I see you. But I just let you know, have a great, great day.